The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to be looking at the first chart is the semiconductor three times bullish index. I've never heard of this thing. It's the Sox XL. One of our friends was asked to take a look at it. And as you can see, it made a high in 2022 at 75. Then it dropped a slight correction down to 5. And now it's had a little bit of a rally. I would be thinking it's not going to get much higher then the 382 retracement here up about another $15 would be my guess. The next one we want to take a look at comes from our friends up in the northern part of the, of the Americas, which is Canada. And we want to take a look at the, let's try this again, Larry. We want to look at the Australian dollar, not the Canadian dollar. Let's get this up here. Here's the Australian dollar. As you can see here, we're at some major support in here. Now, this is related to the futures markets because they are very heavily involved in agriculture and stuff. And as you can see, we've had these big ABCDs here, the rally back to the 61% retracement the seven or eight weeks that we stayed right at the 3A2, and now we're hovering down by the 61% uh, uh, retracement. So it's, uh, you're still not seeing any chart? Are you joking me? Let me try it again. Hold on, I'm doing everything the same. So bear with me, uh, hopefully. I tell you these technical parts of these things are the things that make me go cuckoo. Let's see if it's working now. There's the Australian dollar. I don't know if you saw the other chart or not. If we're not seeing any charts, folks, I don't know what to do because I am I'm not, um, well, I, you know, I, let's see. Uh, we're seeing them now. Okay, that's good. So you can see that we're, we have a lot of resistance up here. If we ever get above this, it would be very, very bullish. But right now, it's uh, heading down. The, the big thing that's happening today, folks, is the big sell-off that we're seeing in the grains. I mean, uh, they thought the hot weather was going to come in, and uh, we said we'd have to wait because it looked like we were going to go lower. And, of course, we are sharply lower, getting near some uh, really good support levels. I'm going to try to work out a special program here for all of our subscribers only, and that's going to be on the grains. I hope to do it this week. And I've done a lot of homework on this, and I want to share it with the subscribers for 24/7 and the newsletter and stuff because it, it's got. I've I've really I, I've really looked at these things very very closely, and I think we're seeing something historical happening in some of these things. But we'll have to wait and clear this with TFNN to see if we're able to, to do that. Our guest tomorrow will be. Um, I'm hoping. Well, let's put it this way. I know we're going to have. Uh, Stan Harley on Thursday and Bob Miner on Friday. I'm hoping to have uh, Jeff Huge uh, on uh, on tomorrow on Wednesday. So that's what the uh, what the theory is of, or the hope is that we're going to have things that we're looking at. And I want to share just a couple of other charts that I think are relatively important. We talk about this debt cycle. And I'm going to bring this up here and show you the last time we had one of these really crazy ones. This came from someone that sent it to me from uh, on the internet. This, the chart is correct. And as you can see, the, the debt cycle really doesn't mean very much at all. They already know that, that the Fed's not going to go bankrupt. We've already rallied two full handles in the Treasury bonds since Sunday, since they started this thing on Saturday. So that's all that is, is just a short covering rally. The bonds are still going to be see higher prices. Let's, let's try that again, Larry. Lower prices, higher interest rates. The cycle that we've made here in bonds is going to last um, at least five to eight years, maybe a lot longer of higher interest rates. So whether that's going to happen or not, but they respond to the news in a heartbeat. So when you see those things occurring, you know, you'll know that, my goodness, uh, why is causing all this? Well, that's why I'm a technician, folks. That's all I'm trying to do. Just to give you an example, last night uh, when we were going crazy, and I just want to get this up here and show you, because you remember uh, on the show I said I would be shorting it 
if we got at that magical 43, uh, 143, 14,367 level. And that's exactly what we hit here on Friday. And then, of course, Sunday, it gapped up. My stop was 40 handles, and it gapped up 40 handles, and then went another 50 handles higher. And now it's just basically come down to fill the gap is all it's done. But see, when these patterns fail, oh, my goodness, uh, you know, you really have to pay very, very close attention to them because the upside on this is unknown because, you know, we only have – this uh, GPU thing is uh, it's not new, but now it's in the news along with the AI. I mean, where were they six or seven months ago? I mean, John Jameson's been talking about this stuff for at least a year, that uh, AI was going to be a big thing, and now it's here. So we're going to be able to see how this works out. He's going to be uh, uh, introducing uh, – he and I – well, I'm going to have a website that we're going to sponsor for John – um, well, I'll get into that at a different time. But let's talk about Bitcoin for just a second because we've had several people ask about it on a long-term basis. Here's what we've seen here. We topped up here a couple of years ago at uh, 67,000. Uh, then we came down to the 16,000. We rallied up to just above the 382 and we're hovering right near the 382 right now. This is not a this is not a tulip bulb, folks. A tulip bulb goes straight up and straight down. This thing went from 67,000, and now it's at 28,000. Remember, it was trading for uh, under a dollar at one time. So a dollar to 28,000. If you're on a vacation and come back and you own it at a dollar, and they tell you it's 28,000, just don't let them tell you it was at 67,000. You'll be relatively happy. So that's uh, that's neither here nor there. So let's pay attention to that one. There's a couple of others that uh, are, are interesting. Uh, this is one that uh, shows you what the value of the S&P is compared to the other 493 stocks in the S&P 500. Look at this. This is truly amazing, folks. This is the S&P with the seven stocks, and here it is without the seven stocks. Now, that to me means something. I'm probably wrong. You know, I'm just an old country hick from Terre Haute, Indiana, but boy, I'm, I know I know charts, and that tells me that there's some distribution going on here. There's a few stocks that are making this thing go up, and if that ever slows down, like maybe they would have a down day. Holy moly, guacamole. That would really be exciting if that happens. We've seen this happen before in the dot-com bubble, if you'll remember, and then also uh, right before the real estate uh, collapse, we had something like that. But the dot-com bubble was a once-in-a-generation thing. At least I thought it was until I looked at those seven stocks. It's really quite amazing. Another way of looking at this is this comes from a friend of ours over in the UK, and I wanted to bring this up and show it to you because it tells you pretty much the same thing that if you look at the uh, weighted value of these things, we've actually been going down with the exception of some of those stocks that have been absolutely, you know, going up. And remember, the Dow Jones and the Russell are certainly going down. We're going to take a little break, folks. 877-927-6648. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. 
Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, here's uh, the natural gas. We've had this on our watch list for quite some time. We sent a special video, video out on it on Sunday. Uh, looking for the market to get down to 225. Uh, we just hit 227. So we're almost at that little red box that you see over here on the right. That's your completion of the ABCD pattern. And of course, your stop would have to be down here about eight or 10 points, roughly $500 on this. But you can see it's just been absolutely a perfect uh, symmetrical Gartley pattern with the ABCD pattern forming ABCD coming in right here. And if you went back and looked even farther, this is uh, just a four hour chart. If you went back and looked farther on the daily, you'd also be seeing another number coming in here at the 50% level of the low that we made down here at 196. So this is gonna be a real interesting one and we're just two points away right now. Uh, those of you that like the, the price of beef right now, get ready because it's going to go a lot higher, it looks like. We've got all new highs now in all options of the cattle market going strong. Of course, uh, hogs have dropped by 30%, so that'll help take some of the sting out of it. But uh, the price of beef is certainly going to go uh, a lot higher, uh, as you can see. And how much higher? We don't know, but it's going to be interesting. Now, I wanted to just mentioned to you about the stock market. And this is one of the videos that we sent out. Uh, you can see there, well, you can't see it yet, but you will soon. This was when we were looking at the market uh, last night uh, on Sunday. That This includes Sunday and Monday. And you'll notice here, there was the first retracement that we had right here. This was the one uh, from um, today. Uh, let's try that again, Larry. This was yesterday's 382 retracement of the high that we made when the NASDAQ was up 250 points. This was making a 382 retracement. We sent this uh, a good 30 minutes before, well, you can see, uh, 30 minutes or so before the uh, market hit that level. And we went above it by 10 points, $50, and then dropped off the face of the earth. Well, we dropped off and made a giant APC down there. It dropped over. Uh, 350 uh, Dow points to get to the POS Bacchus. It was up 200 and some at one, and then went down to about 180. So it went down and bounced, and now it's bouncing around down this level. So that's what we were watching and, and telling the folks that, look, there was a bifurcation in the market. We had one market, the NASDAQ, that was going crazy. The S&P certainly wasn't. We had a sell order 
at 42.45. It got to 42.44, so we missed it. But of course, we got the 3.82 retracement back at 42.35, and that one turned out okay. But all we're doing is is we're, we're monitoring the market for patterns that will limit our exposure to risk, and that's really what my job is, folks. I, I'm just stop and think. I'm, I'm better than my my. My accuracy rate is around 60%. But the thing is, I'm not going to risk a lot of money on some of these things that are, uh, you know, falling out of bed or going straight up. I mean, I'll, I'll sell a market that's going straight up, but I'm going to have a stop in because I don't know how high up is. Just like when it's going down, I don't know how down is. So that's pretty much what I'm paying attention to as we're looking at some of these things. But uh, what I'm seeing in the grain markets is uh, truly startling. I, I spent a great deal of time with uh, Rich Anderson uh, here over this uh, long weekend, and Rich will be our guest here coming up at the break. So let's make sure that we stay tuned to what Rich has to say, because uh, his specialty, him being a farmer and a rancher, he certainly understands you know, what these markets are doing. So what we'll do is, when the break comes up, if you have any questions, call in 877-927-6648. We're going to spend some time with Rich talking to him about the, um, about the grain markets and also the oil seeds, which includes the soybeans. So stay with us, 877-927-6648. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have Rich Anderson on the line. Rich, how are you doing? Doing great, Larry. Doing great. I guess we got a little rain over the weekend instead of hot weather. Is that the story? Well, well, basically, you know, the market spermed up Friday on the idea that uh, the forecast was for no rain to speak of. Well, today's forecast changed. Now, this is the forecast for about 8 to 12 days from now. Mm -hmm. On Sunday night, there was, you know, on Friday afternoon, they were looking at the uh, 6 to 10 day forecast. And then you know, we're just that time of the year. We're kind of on the shoulder when we're. The, the weather's going to be a huge difference. And that, that huge difference, uh, you know, based on what we see in the weather the next three weeks, there isn't necessarily going to be a whole lot of rain between, say, Nebraska and Indiana, and that could affect the corn. But, you know, we've, the government's got a USDA 181-plus yield, and I think we're going to need to take four or five bushels an acre off minimum just just to make that difference. The other thing is I I sent you a message last week about how China was concerned. Uh, I think mm -hmm. I sent it to you on Thursday. China was concerned about uh, the COVID, the XBB variant. They, they're running approximately 65 million cases a week. Looks like this will carry out into the end of June before it peaks. They've just approved their first uh, mRNA uh, vaccine. Their previous vaccines were very low efficiency and effectiveness. And and so the concerns about demand from China, Dal, Dalin exchange last night was down on corn or on soybeans, oil, and meal. Um, mm -hmm. The weather in Brazil is basically decent other than Paraná might affect, they might have a freeze that could affect the corn crop, but Monte Grosso is basically, they're, they're a month away, but their crop is their crop is is going to be fine, and they're harvesting the beans like crazy. The only thing that uh, over in the Black Sea, you know, they're only the Russians are only allowing the inspection of three ships a day, which is the lowest since they started this deal uh, with the Russians. And on top of that, I think they had some attacks on the Odessa port. So, you know, that that's kind of uh, unknown for the wheat market, but on the same token, Russia is offering wheat lower and lower. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to get a bullish surprise right at the moment. They're, they're talking about the lowest rainfall in in Chicago at 0.42 inches since 1992 when they had 0.3 inches. Well, if you remember in 92, you had the Pintudo or whatever um, volcano and you had all that volcanic ash, particulate mm -hmm. matter in the atmosphere, and that affected things. But then that kind of dissipated, and the 92 crop got rain at the right time in July, and they had a good crop. The crop that year, by the way, was 131.5 bushels an acre. Mm -hmm. But the genetics of our seed today is so much greater that, you know, that's, that's not a comparison. The, the index funds are at the lowest they've been since like October of 2019. Well, every time the interest rates get raised, you know, the guys t take stuff out of the index market because uh, they don't they don't see any potential. And then you've got the Shanghai market in China saying something's m probably wrong, and you've got the copper market, which is you know that has a PhD in economics saying. You know, the demand is uh, highly questionable at the moment, so we're going to have to wait for weather to get excited. I, I will say this, that, uh, you know, when you go and make new lows, if they don't keep their money on the table and close them there and follow through, then kind of like the hogs last week, you know, they sold off sharply on Thursday and Friday, and, and now they're recovering today. If they can't hold them down here, then we're at value levels for the moment, and there's just uh, too much uncertainty going forward. So I think that's going to be kind of interesting. That's mostly what I'm looking at. I'm still looking for opportunities. 
I like to see a flush and rinse, you know, where the markets make new lows and can't hold. Mm -hmm. Those are when you get the snapbacks, but we don't have any real bull story at the moment because, Mm -hmm. you know, you don't have the index funds going in. Decent chance the Fed will raise interest rates at their meeting. Uh, The beige book comes out, I think, tomorrow. Um, Unemployment Friday. You know, that's going to be a non-event. It might move a a tenth. It's a non-issue. So I'm I'm looking for those opportunities. I, I can tell you when I look at the board and I see the July corn, is um, roughly 70 cents, 69 cents higher than these, you know, that's still showing us good demand. But mm-hmm. China's been trying, since March, March is when the, the uh, it started with the bean market, and then three weeks later the corn market in China started to weaken significantly, and Chinese have been trying to change their feed rations to use more wheat than corn and meal so that they could put pressure on the U.S., basically, because we're, you know, okay. this tit for tat. And, and that's kind of what's going on. So we need a demand story. We've got a supply story right now, and that supply is, is more than adequate. It's going to come from some weather event. But the next three weeks, we're, we've got good subsoil. Everything started and looking good. Excellent. Look, every, the crop looks great. Mm-hmm. But three weeks from now, if we haven't gotten any more rain than what seems to be on the, on the forecast, then there'll mm-hmm. be a great deal of concern. And, of course, the markets are futures markets, and they anticipate that. Well, Rich, let me ask you a question about uh, supply and demand. I mean, we had uh, wheat uh, just a year ago this time at almost $13 a bushel, and now we're under $6 a bushel. Uh, Isn't that sort of like a closing sale? I mean, how much lower is wheat going to go? I personally, you know, the indicators on my chart that I use, and and I'm looking at a a weekly chart now to give me a bigger picture Yes, tell so me that, uh, at too, yes. that it's, I, it's been flushed out and we're probably at value. But, you know, once you're flushed out and you're at value, you need, still need to see the buyers step in. And the mm-hmm. index buyers aren't stepping in because they're afraid interest rates are going to go higher. And every time interest rates have been going higher, they've been reducing their, their long positions. And and the Russians keep offering cash wheat in the Black Sea. They We need to see them stop offering cash wheat in the Black Sea at, at lower and lower levels. And mm-hmm. and then it'll catch hold and catch fire. Kansas City, you know, at seven eighty four, and that's uh, that's where you know that's almost two dollars higher than uh, the Chicago, and, and likely uh, can get to two fifty to three dollars higher than Chicago. So that's that's yeah. where the real weather problem is is in Kansas City. But how about it, the cattle? It's a demand how, thing, and, yeah. and you've got Russia offering lower. And how about a cattle market? They're breaking out to the upside, higher beef prices than we've ever had, isn't it? Yep, yep. They're just uh, they, they, the consumer seems to be willing to spend money on going out to eat, uh, on experiences. Going, you know, I mean, some of Taylor Swift's concert tickets cost ten thousand dollars. You know, so that, that they're spending all this money, <laughs> and they're spending on food and, and 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 partying, and that's what and the and the cattle crop. You know, the the herd. It's not. It's, it keeps getting smaller every year, and that's what's going on there. Hey, listen. Thanks for joining us, Rich, and we'll have you on again soon. And stay safe, okay, bro, friend. It, when I see a five-star trade, you'll be the first to know. That's it. Send those fire signals right over to me, buddy. Rich Anderson, folks. Anderson Capital Management. We'll be right back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, a couple of updates, folks. This is from the newsletter went out over the weekend. This is the July soybeans weekly chart. And if you'll notice here on the far right corner where the 382 is marked, they're at 1294 and a half. That was the 382 retracement of the low that we made back here two and a half years ago. You can see the last time we had a 382 retracement it was right here. That led to the large A, B, C, D pattern right here. We've had this huge sell-off. So it's uh, actually trading about four cents above that right now. And then if you remember just a few minutes ago, we were talking about the natural gas. And let's get this up. I want to say I got to bring this to your attention, folks, because, you know, these don't work all the time. But when they do work, you know, one out of six or whatever that number is, six out of one, five out of 12, who knows? Anyway, there was a number right there, 225.70. That was the exact low so far. We're three cents higher than that right now. So if you did either one of those trades, make sure you put your stop a penny below that. That way you won't have to risk anything at all. And that's what it's all about. It's not how much money you, you make. It's how much money you don't lose. That's the key to what we're watching here as we look at some of these things unfold. Regarding the cattle market, uh, I want to show you uh, we've been expecting this uh, to occur. So you just give me a second to get this up here. We hit those levels here uh, Monday because we were pointing to get up near this uh, 168 level which we have uh, we have done that today so we've broken out to the upside hogs on the other side have had that tremendous move to the downside they've rallied uh, nickel since uh, you know making the low but uh, here's where we are here uh, in the cattle market this may be a completion move we won't know that i have to have some type of a sign that the market's retraced or uh, have at least it stopped going up you know what your risk is at that point. Right now, it looks like the cattle should make about 169. I don't even, I haven't even checked them lately. Um, but uh, wow, they went even higher than that. They hit, uh, oh no, hit 167 has been the high uh, in the cattle. So that's uh, really uh, all your uh, all you're watching here uh, at that. So anyway, the soybeans are setting right there at that two, 382. It's you know between down 30 some cents on a on a Tuesday like this with all the rain, they're probably not gonna hold this level right now, but looking at all the grains, um, I'm gonna be doing this video here tomorrow. 
And I'll probably do it tonight. I'll get this video out to you 24-7, folks, so you can get an idea of where we are uh, on some of these. We are uh, currently long uh, November beans from um, uh, 1195. They're 1193, right? 1155. They're 1153 right now. And then we also rebought the corn at uh, 218, uh, <laughs> 20. 618 and uh, we have a stop right below that it's moved up a nickel uh, from that level so uh, interesting times as to, as to say this least so it's going to be very very interesting Th this is the type of move uh, in that I'm looking at here in grains that you don't see very often uh, but when you do see it uh, it's worth uh, paying attention to it because uh, you know the market uh, I mean folks at $12 a bushel Nobody wanted to sell it. It's one half of that price now, and nobody wants to buy it. Stop and think of one other time this has happened to us in recent history. Do you remember the old story about negative interest rates when we had bonds at 172 before they went to 116? Do you remember that story? You got to get in there. I'm going to let you take care of your bonds, and we're going to charge you a fee for it. And we're not going to guarantee that you're going to get your money back. Boy, that sounds like a really good deal. And, folks, they had country after country after country believe in that malarkey. Now, I am not, you know, from Harvard. I'm not from MIT. I'm from Indiana State, Purdue, and also Indiana University. And I will, t and also my 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 one month of school of medicine at Stritch School of Medicine, University of Chicago, where I lasted six weeks. Uh, that's it. But other than that, you know, I do keep my eyes open on these charts. And when they try to feed you, um, you know, corn and tell you it's filet mignon, not the same thing. Now here's one on the currency basis that is really really cool looking, and I I really like this one here. It hasn't completed yet, but it is very very close. And that is the dollar yen. And as you notice here on the dollar yen, we are really close to this level right up here. It's a perfect ABCD. Uh, you remember when we got up to this level right here, that was the 382 on the big move. And then we broke down and now we're making this small retracement here, uh, which comes in at the 61% retracement right up here, just a little bit above where we are now. Just about at uh, 140, uh, one, yeah, just about 142. I think the last I saw it was like 140.80. So we're we're really close to that. So that's it. Remember, well, I just noticed here uh, on the old Bloomberg that the Nasdaq is only up 20 after being up 250 on the day. So uh, as uh, Basil Chapman always says, it's early. And that's what happened this morning when these happened. It all started, folks. If you were pot, if you were watching the dollar, and I, I sent this out an hour before it was happening. I got lucky on that one. That's three three out of three. Wow, that doesn't happen very often. All right, let's take a look here. There's where we were. There's a three eight two retracement. There was the, there was it there it was Sunday night when it gapped up several hundred points. There was the first retracement, and then this was the one yesterday, uh, right before. Uh, in the middle of the night there, uh, you'll see it right there on the 29th. And then, of course, the 30th, we've come down and we've dropped all the way down uh, to make a huge ABC uh, to the downside. So this is still very negative, and the Russell never moved at all. All it did was move lower, and uh, it continue, it's continuing to move lower. Now, I personally believe we, we see a, a, a rise in uh, T-bonds today to a 127. That's a two-point rally and that's also indicative of the people believing that the debt cycle is going to be corrected yes it will be corrected and it'll be done probably in the last minute but it's all political folks and that's you know if i i tell you that's a bad part of these elections i don't know if i can take another 18 months of the baloney that i hear on tv it just is absolutely uh just knocks me off my socks when i when I hear of what's going on. I have one other question that someone asked me about as what happened here. This was the the uh, trade that I was doing here uh, on Friday, uh, right uh, as you will get this up here, take a look at it because I think it's important to see. And I said to the folks, this is not for you. I said, do not do this trade. This is when we were setting at the 61% retracement on the weekly. Now this is a four hour chart. If we go back and take a look at that weekly chart, you're going to see exactly where I was. 
and where I had my stop. And I had no idea what was going to happen on Sunday, that they uh, were going to uh, do the debt thing. Supposedly, that's what did it. But it could be NVIDIA or some of these others. But what happened was it closed right there and opened 40 points higher. That stopped me out. And it went up another 50 points higher. And uh, so, you know, all I did, I sent a video out and I sold, I told the people, I said, watch for these 382s. And they had one in the S&P at uh, 42.35. And we had a really nice one in the uh, Dow Jones at 32.210. And they both worked great. So sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. That's it. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I'm going to put up the chart here of the Treasury bonds because we've had this big sell-off, and now we're having a relief rally. Uh, you'll get this up here now. You'll be able to see. Uh, you'll see it during the past uh, two and a half weeks. Each of these, each of these little tiny rallies have only been three eight twos, and then we're having the larger one now coming due to either today or tomorrow. So watch that tomorrow up there, one twenty seven twenty, in the Treasury bonds. That should hold it. Uh, remember, folks, 
these bonds used to trade at 180, and then we went down to, uh, I believe, 116, rallied up to uh, 130. We were hoping to get to one, uh, 140 uh, and change. We only got to 136, and now we've dropped uh, quite a bit back, and now we're rallying back. Bonds are in a very long-term bear market. That means interest rates are probably going to be going higher. So if you get a chance to buy a house with a really good interest rate, uh, go ahead and get it. If you pay cash, that's even better. So let's uh, remind ourselves uh, that uh, markets go up and markets go down. If you remember that chart that I started today, which was the semiconductors, it went from 75 to 5. And we've seen this happen many, many times before. Stocks that were, well, look at Netflix at one time, 700, and went from 700 to 160. Now it's back to 400. So they're having a lot of volatility in these things, and that's what we're looking for. But we're going to see some great things happening. This is the growing season now for grains. This is the time when you get all the rain and the sun and whatever it takes to make these markets move up and down. So we'll be watching them very closely here over the next few days. So stay tuned tomorrow. Our guest is going to be the wolf trader himself, Shane Smolian, a very happy camper because his Miami Heat is in the NBA Finals, which should be a, a, a lot of fun to, to watch those games unfold here. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless, and we'll see you tomorrow, and I'll be doing the update in just a few moments. 